We're back. 541 is the time. And again, the latest developments this morning in that string of car fires that we've been following uh, since uh, Saturday. We had three more last night, believe it or not. Video on the left here showing you the scene in the early morning hours this morning at about 3 o'clock out there by Ocean Beach at La Playa and Balboa. We had a car totally consumed by flames. As you can see, there, firefighters desperately trying to put it out on the right hand side video from yesterday's damaged vehicles that were caught in a string of uh, four car fires yesterday. Obviously, fire investigators trying to get to the bottom of this, and we talked live with Toronto Force Jackie Sissel. He was out live at the scene of, of the, uh, the image there on the left, showing us some of the damage and a stack of burned out newspapers below that car. That is similar to uh, a suspected uh, arson fire yesterday where a passerby spotted a stack of burning newspapers underneath a pickup truck in San Francisco. Luckily, they had a water bottle and were able to put it out before the, before the truck caught on fire. And now fire investigators finding a similar scene here. They'll be looking into it throughout the day. As soon as we find out more, we'll let you know what's going on here. Uh, but at 543, another warning for you this morning. Consumers being warned about a line of supplements containing steroids. Take a look at your screen here. According to the FDA, the supplement on the left called Tren Extreme, and on the right there, Mass Extreme, could cause liver injury, stroke, or kidney failure. So if you've got it, stop taking it. The supplements have a similar makeup of two banned steroids, and the chemical found in Tren Extreme actually formed the basis of the clear. You remember that? That's that undetectable drug made by Balco that was allegedly used by Barry Bond. So the FDA has issued a warning letter now to the company that distributes this supplement, saying it's violating federal law by distributing the products, and they're warning anybody who has this in their pantry, throw it out. All right, 543, another uh, headline for you this morning. A new study says pregnant women who get swine flu or at least are, that is, at least four times as likely to be hospitalized as other people with the virus. Experts aren't sure if pregnant women are more susceptible to swine flu, but they say once the women are infected, they have a higher risk of complications. The researchers say pregnant women suspected of having swine flu should be given Tamiflu as soon as possible. All right, 544 the time now. Let's get the latest on traffic and say good morning to George Rask. Hey, George. Morning, James. Uh, no hot spot for the ride on Highway 4. Looks pretty good here in the westbound direction and easy to your inland spots, keeping it on the cool side through the weekend and through the beginning of your work week. James. All right, Evelyn, thank you very much. Now for a quick uh, update on some new details this morning. Barry Bonds' wife apparently drops her request now for legal separation. There you see a photograph of the two of them, Liz Bonds filed a, a dismissal of the lawsuit last week in L.A. Superior County Court. She filed the lawsuit originally last month, citing irreconcilable differences, and she sought spousal and custody of the couple's 10-year-old daughter. She only requested a legal separation, not an actual divorce. The couple, in fact, married back in 1998, moved to Beverly Hills in 2003, and again this morning she has dropped now her, uh, her lawsuit for separation. All right, 5.48 the time. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back, though, with more in just a moment. Let's go outside, though. We'll give you a live picture from our Mount Tan camera. Beautiful sunrise here with that fog laying low along the bay. We'll get another look at the forecast in just a moment. And we're also following again the latest on those car fires. We've had three more now crop up overnight while you were sleeping. More than a dozen now since Saturday, believe it or not. And obviously, fire investigators a bit uh, mystified this morning as to what is going on. We'll show you some of the dramatic video coming up. Welcome back to the Cron 4 Morning News. A look at your seven day around the bay. We're planning on cooling it down as we move through the week. A bit more cloud cover by Friday. We will be seeing some clearing today, but it's going to take just a bit longer. James. All right, Evelyn, thank you very much. News around the Bay this morning. Residents who live near Caltrain's railroad tracks will be, hearing, will be hearing those horns a lot more distinctly here in the near future, at least for the time being. Caltrain officials had to move the horns to their original location on top of the trains to comply with federal regulations. But doing so increases the volume and the range of those horns. Engineers are required to sound the horn a quarter mile before every street crossing. They also sound the horn every time they see a, a trespasser near the track. So you'll be hearing these horns from a lot further away now. Meanwhile, texting while driving is getting more and more dangerous and could lead to more accidents on the road. This was the result of a new Virginia Tech study. The study focused on long haul truck drivers and found that drivers who text are 23 times more likely to get into an accident. This video here was used as part of the study where they followed uh, truck drivers. And you can see how distracting it is. A lot of them looking down, looking up, looking down, looking up, and a lot of them not paying attention to where they're going. 
The study also says that texting drivers take their eyes off the road longer than they do if they're just using a regular cell phone for making calls. In fact, Crown Force Stanley Roberts hit the streets to see how bad it is out there. On January the 1st of this year, California passed a law forbidding drivers from texting while driving. But just like the hands-free law that is being ignored, the texting law has been ignored as well. I looked around for drivers texting behind the wheel in Emeryville and San Francisco. They weren't hard to find. Like the driver of this gold SUV, you can see him here texting away. I was able to move to get a better shot as he just kept texting. One of the telltale signs of texting is the head bob. That's when the driver is reading the text while checking on the light. Then there's a serious texter who never takes his eyes off the screen the entire time he is texting. Until the traffic finally begins to move and it's one hand on the wheel. Then there's the look mom no hands texter. Notice the car moving but the hands stay on the phone. One published report says drivers who text and drive are feared just as much as drunk drivers. Here's something you should take to heart. If you're in a wreck from being drunk or from texting, a wreck is still a wreck. On assignment, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News. All right, 5.54 the time. If you've got a comment or a story suggestion for Stanley, let him know. You can reach him via email. The address is there, people behaving badly at cronford.com. And if you'd like to watch this story again or any of the others he's put together, head to our website at cronford.com. You'll find them all there. All right, five is, as we said, 54 is the time. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll follow the latest with the uh, rash of car fires in San Francisco. Three more caught on fire last night. One of them caught on tape here, as you can see. The flames uh, extremely hot, the fire extremely violent. Fire crews there, you're about to see them douse the car with uh, water. And there's something about this particular fire that seems to be similar to the ones we've seen the past couple days. Yeah, there's a similar MO here. Investigators beginning to build their portfolio, a profile of who might be responsible for this. We'll be chatting live with Crump Force Jackie Sissel. He'll let us know what they found here that's similar to what we've seen at other fires in the past. But again, about a dozen or so cars have caught on fire since Saturday. And obviously a lot of folks scratching their heads wondering, who might behind this be behind this and why they're doing it in the first place? All right, we're going to take a quick break here. Again, some of the top stories we're following. Microsoft and Yahoo strike a deal. Long time making, finally happened. We'll tell you what they're going to be doing now. And the latest into the death of Michael Jackson. Somebody inside the home now is sharing their insights as to what happened the morning Michael Jackson died. And also following the weather, we've got cooler temperatures. In fact, below the, below our normal temperatures so far this week, we've got a nice mild day in the forecast. We'll get it all with Evelyn Taft in just a moment. Stay with us.